Aquarius. Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> I'm sure that this you're feeling this energy. I'm feeling this energy, so you've got to be feeling it because it is directly affecting you. Um, so Mars is going retrograde. Uh, Mercury is retrograde today. Um, we have the full lunar eclipse in your sign tomorrow, which will last about three days. Longest lunar blood moon eclipse ever, ever. Well, maybe not ever, but definitely in the century. So <clears throat> a lot of generational shifts happening. Um, a lot of emotions coming up, a lot of feeling like, where do I belong? What am I supposed to be doing? What is my purpose? What's the point, right? A lot of thinking and analyzing. And I know that you guys um, are the thinkers of the thinkers, basically. What I don't want you to do during this time is to get into a place of thinking about the past and feeling regret or disappointment from doing things or other people doing things to you. I want you to take this time that when that stuff comes up, really think about what you learned and what you're still learning from it. Um, we often get into a space of why me, woe is me, why can't things just start to, to go my way? And that's a very low vibrational, very low chakra place to go. So what do we have? We have the three of pentacles, the five of cups. I'm trying to, I mean, you won't be able to see the cards. Let's see if I can... It's just the angle and like the way this sits. I'm sorry. Um, so we have the five of cups with the three of pentacles and we have the king of pentacles. So an earth sign. If this is um, having to do with a relationship, it's like you couldn't get it off the ground and now you're disappointed about it. Um, I feel like the cards are asking you to have faith in yourself and go your own direction and not really, this is what I'm saying, like don't think of what, has, what hasn't what has come about for you, what hasn't happened for you. Um, don't think of it as a disappointment or a regret or I should have done this or I wish they would have done that. Um, think of it as a jumping off point to start fresh, to go in a new direction, to um, believe more in yourself and not really worry about the path of someone else. If this person was supposed to be in your life, they would be. If this person is supposed to be in your life, they will be. So then we have, right, a water sign showing up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <clears throat> King of Cups, huh? I feel like this King of Cups is going to take you in a new direction. I'm being very quiet and shuffling on purpose because I just want your energy to come in. <clears throat> the Empress in the Tower. It's a really big time for evolution. It's a really big time for evolution of everybody's souls, everybody's purpose in life. Um, it's like a culmination is happening. And I want you guys to remember in August, we're going to do two different spreads, by the way. I want you guys to remember in August that, like, the saying, that which does not kill me makes me stronger, so true. 
And I don't see that it's going to be a bad month. I see that it's going to be a month of growth, renewal, newness. But there's something from <clears throat> that you've been holding on to that just didn't quite get there that really needs to kind of fall away. And I feel like, in, and it doesn't have to fall away forever, but you've got to release the energy of it so that you can grow. And if it's meant, if this energy is meant to come back to you, it will. That's just, you know, we hold on to things and we try to make things work and try to make things work and try to make things work because we have an idea in our mind <clears throat> that this is the way it's supposed to look and this is the way it's supposed to go. And then when it doesn't work, we get very disappointed and we get very regretful and we're like, well, what the hell? I tried everything. I did everything in my power. And that's exactly it. You did everything in your power. And so now you have to release that. So let's clarify these. What is the Three of Pentacles? <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. Trying to build an emotional connection. I kind of feel like what's happening here is you really looking at this like it was supposed to go a certain way. Um, <clears throat> and the universe was almost handing you this gift like, no, look over here. This is the way it's supposed to go. Didn't you know? Don't, don't you see over here? This is the way it's supposed to go. And because it didn't go that way, or didn't go the way that you wanted it to, or the way you thought it would, here we are, right? I gotta do this so I can, like, actually see. I mean, you guys can't see the cards anyway, so we'll do this. So, Five of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you waited on it for too long. You know, and don't think of it as a waste of time or a waste of energy or anything like that. Because you probably learned something very valuable from this King of Pentacles about yourself, maybe about the world, maybe about what you truly want in life or truly deserve. The shadow side, which is the devil. So this could be a Capricorn. But um, also somebody who probably like you were, you know, they were your catalyst, pushed you forward. So what is the fool? What is this new beginning? I feel like the universe is saying you need to have faith because even though this didn't work out and it was something that you really, really wanted, there's something new there for you, right? Six of wands. I turned that over like right as I said, there's something new there for you. There's something new coming in. Even if you were like really, really, really set on this King of Pentacles and what they represented to you. And this could have been a job too that you were waiting on up here. Could have been a job you were waiting on. But there's something new coming and it's going to be after a time where you have to realize that the energy up here has to fall away. But in the first, I mean, it's like, I feel like in the first two weeks, you know, and this is going to be somebody who's a little bit more reciprocal towards you. Six of Pentacles on the King of Cups. I want you to place your energy in a different place. When I get the Six of Pentacles, I always ask, where is your energy being best spent? Empress. It's time for you to master and grow and learn things about yourself. The Page of Pentacles on the Empress. It's time for you to 
go in a new direction, start something new, start something that's a little bit more stable. Um, the tower energy, the tower energy is the eclipse. And you're probably already feeling it. Um, it's not easy, but it's necessary. The tower is evolution at its finest. The tower breaks every single part of who we are and what we want and where we're going. Breaks all of that down. And lets us find a new future. The Three of Wands. Because when everything is wiped away in your life, when everything is... crumbling, it opens up doors of manifestation for you to walk through and for you to start something new, start something fresh, right? So the first two weeks of August, we also have the, let's look at the bottom of the deck really quick, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Sun. You can't keep fighting for the past and expect a new beginning. You can't keep fighting for the past. Um, some things with the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords and Ace of Wands. Sometimes you have to lose to gain. Sometimes you have to lose big to gain big. This is just clearing out space in your life so that good things can come in. And the universe is basically saying it's really time for this to happen. And no matter what it is, if it's work, if it's people, if it's places, if it's things, it doesn't really matter what it is that is being cleared out of your life. Just know that you have people around you that bring clarity and growth and prosperity. Three of Cups in the Sun. You have people that you can count on. And if you don't know who your tribe is quite yet, I feel like that this is the clearing out that's happening. People and things being taken away so that you have this opportunity of the right people to be in your life. Whoa, ah, losing it, I'm losing it. Okay, let's see what's going on for the second half of August. So as we get into the second, go into Virgo season, things like planetary things start to calm down a little bit. Uranus does go um, retrograde in August, um, but there's a lot of stuff, whoa, um, that will kind of come to a culmination. The eclipses really last for about six months. The energy of the eclipses really last for about six months. So if you don't see the shift right away of moving into something new or moving things moving out of your life, um, it will like the energy will start to build and that will, you will start to see things a little bit more clearer. So the second half of August, I feel like you guys are now that things are being cleared out of your life, you have some big decisions to make about what direction you really want to go in. Two of wands. Don't let yourself get stuck in an idea of exactly how it's supposed to look. And the, not throwing shade at Aquarians at all, but um, I find that you guys take things so very literal. I mean, you guys are, are which is fine, um, but try not to box yourself into an idea. Like if somebody says something to you, um, or, you know, 
Like, for example, like if you get a reading from someone, for example, and they tell you like some certain information, but it's just not quite like things don't really start to pan out that way. Go back and think about the reading and be like, was I supposed to look at that in a different way or was my mind set and focused on one certain part of it and the rest of it didn't matter? Because I feel like you guys really need to take a different perspective on some things, some information or some questions that you might have. And then we have the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Because I don't want you guys to trap yourself in, like, into an idea of the way things are supposed to look. Just because, you know, and, and it's funny because I can really relate to that sometimes because being a Virgo, you want things to look a certain way and be a certain way. And if it doesn't work out that way, then it's kind of like a chaotic mess and, oh my God, why can't things just like work the way that they're supposed to work, right? Well, <clears throat> because we're not supposed to live in a box. I didn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb and it's distracting me, so I'm going to have to change that. I don't want you guys, I want you guys to broaden your mind, but don't analyze. There you are. Because the reality of the way everything is supposed to go is the reality that you make it. You have a lot of opportunities. I feel like you have a lot of opportunities in front of you for the way your life should look, the way your life should go. Um, so let the creative process happen. And don't be... Don't be so serious. Don't be so serious, right? Four of Swords, which to me is the minor arcana of the Hanged Man. Cut ties with the idea of the way you think things are supposed to go. I love saying it like that. I'm going to coin that phrase. Cut ties with the idea of the way you think things are supposed to go and look at things in a different way. While you're meditating, while you're talking to your higher self, be like, how am I supposed to be looking at this? How am I supposed to be looking at this? So let's clarify some of these. Two of Wands. And don't shut yourself out. Don't close yourself up. Um, look at that. Opportunities abound. So there's that King of Cups again and the nine of pentacles and this could be you you could be representing the king of cups somebody who is emotional but doesn't really show a lot of emotions um and really wanting to make that like right decision like what direction am i supposed to be going in i want to walk towards abundance but where where is that like you know that guy's looking out he's holding the globe he you know it's like um Oh, what's the saying? The possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. You have so much that you can, and either a water sign is going to bring something to you, or this is you just being very emotional about like, where's, where's my abundance? Where, where am I focusing myself? And then the hanged man. Make sure that you're being very studious about looking at the decisions you're making in different ways. Don't get stuck on one thought, idea, or process the way you think it's supposed to go because you, that can get really exhausting. Trying to figure out how to fix one thing because you've boxed it in and this is the way it's supposed to look. That can get really, really exhausting. So try not to do that to yourself. It's the hanged man. <clears throat> See? Two of cups. So whatever relationship, either you want this relationship or you already have it, whatever the case may be for you, it's going to look differently differently than you think it is. It's going to be 
um, a different person than you think it is. It's going to go a different way than you think it will. This is not, this is not going to be what you thought it was going to be. That two of cups. That's what the hanged man. You may feel stuck in a relationship. You may feel stuck because you want to um, broaden, you know, like look for the relationship. You haven't been in a relationship for a while, so you feel stuck there. The hanged man is saying you have to release the energy of holding on to a thought process with that. And that's really hard to do sometimes. It's really, really hard to do sometimes. So Page of Pentacles. I love the Aquarian brain. I love it because you guys are, you. I mean, I can relate to it in so many ways. And then other ways I want to look at you guys and be like, well, that's kind of odd to think of it like that. But okay, because you're amazing. I mean, you can think of like six different things all at once and analyze all six of them at once. Like, it's just, it's unreal. It is so unreal. And I don't know how you guys don't go crazy. I thought I was super duper analytical being a Virgo with the Libra rising. I'm nothing compared to an Aquarian brain. Um, it's really, really interesting. And I love the way it works. I love the way it works. So <clears throat> Queen of Wands on the Page of Pentacles. Fire sign. Are you trying to start something new? Oh, no. No, you're not. You're walking away from a fire sign energy. And wanting something new, something different. Either heal, you're either healing from a fire sign energy or walking away from it. I kind of feel like um, this could also really be you wanting to be confident. And um, I feel like somebody's wanting to go back to school or learn something and like grow themselves. The Eight of Cups to me is like growth and progress and self-discovery. So this, you could be embodying this Queen of Wands and just being very confident. You could have a lot of fire in your chart. Um, but you want so much more. And I feel like in order, it's almost as if the cards are saying, in order for you to get this Two of Cups, this Eight of Cups and this Page of Pentacles has to happen. This embodiment of the Queen of Wands or the fire energy within you. Because we all have that fire element in our chart somewhere. I've got a lot of it. In my <laughs> I may be an earth sign, but I'm pretty sparky. <laughs> so, um, eight of swords. It's very simple. Like, I'm trying this. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm trying to, like, keep things very simple with you guys today. <laughs> don't trap yourself in the eight of swords because the universe is giving you some really great ideas about your truth, about truths that you need to know. So don't get stuck into a thought process that things have to look, you know, I mean, I think I've said that like 1200 times. This really is a time for you to not box in your ideas because they're brilliant. You have brilliant ideas. Sorry, I'm so distracted by my phone right now. I'm going to turn it over. So sorry. Um, it keeps popping up. So, yeah, don't box yourself in and get distracted by things. And the star, which is you. Balance, healing, evolution growth, the 5D consciousness, all of it, right? And then we have temperance, which is Sagittarius, which, I mean, let's be honest, looks, these two cards look an awful lot alike. 
cups being poured out, cups being poured in together, one foot on land, one foot in water. Very spiritual. This is a big time for you guys. And I really want you to recognize the growth that you've already made and expand your consciousness in ways that you can't even imagine. Really open yourself up to the ideas that are coming to you and don't keep them stuck inside. So, Four of Swords, the Empress, and the Six of Wands. So, you thinking, you looking at things in a different way, and you cutting ties with the idea of the way you think things are supposed to go is going to bring you victory. It's going to bring you growth and progress. But you have to, meditation is key. I really want you guys to very... Try and quiet your minds. And I know telling an Aquarius to quiet their mind is like asking a mountain to move to the left a little. So one of the techniques that I use is I turn on my favorite music that is like instrumental music. Or you can use meditation music. Whatever makes you feel good. And close your eyes. I did this with Virgo in the July reading. So close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Don't close your eyes if you're driving, please. <laughs> I don't want anybody to get into a wreck. Take a deep breath all the way into your solar plexus. Breathe out. And go to a happy place. Like my happy place is a field full of flowers. And in this field full of flowers, there are no bugs allowed. It doesn't have to be a real place. Um, and I want you to just sit with yourself. I want you to look at yourself. I want you to sit with yourself. And I want you to ask yourself, what is it that I need? What is it that I want? Ask them. So you're basically talking to your higher self. And that way, as you're focusing on actually speaking with yourself, all of the world's chatter goes away. All of the other Aquarian noise in your head goes away because you're focusing. You're not just focusing on, oh, um, you know, that's, you're not doing that. You're focusing on actually speaking with yourself. How do you know that when you're speaking with yourself, it's real and what yourself is saying back? It is like, for example, that first thought that comes to mind. Self, what, what is it that I need? Love. Self, what is it that I need? Freedom. Prosperity. Whatever that thing comes to you. And then work your conversation through with that. And... um Really open yourself up to possibilities this month. We have Four of Cups, Justice, the World, the Chariot, the High Priestess. There's talking to yourself. And, of course, we go back to the Two of Swords. Because you will question. You will question, is this really my higher self? Is this really my higher self that I'm talking to or am I crazy? You're not crazy. It's really your higher self, I promise. Don't sit in the, if you have to sit in the four of cups for a little while, if you have to pull away for a little bit, it's okay to do that. But don't sit there for too long because the universe is saying justice, the world, the chariot. So we also have Libra and Cancer here. We have Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Things are happening and they're all happening in divine order. Karma retribution, karmic retribution is happening. New experiences, the world is saying there's this new cycle that you guys are starting brand new cycle that you guys are starting. And this lunar eclipse is really helping you culminate that and push you forward. So make sure more than anything, you are allowing yourself to expand and not keeping yourself in a box in August. Okay. All right, guys. So I will be in Boston tomorrow night. I'm so excited to be doing this on the night of the lunar eclipse. It's going to be so great and so fun. Um, it's magic, like, because the New York one was just amazing. I can't even imagine, like, the lunar eclipse energy. 
So um, I also have like four spots left, I think four spots left, for um, Boston in-person readings. If anybody's interested, it's on my website, fearlessintuition.net. The ticket link for Boston is also on my website or below. You can look below um, in the description box. Also, you can order any personal readings on my website, fearlessintuition.net. What am I forgetting? I'll be in Austin, Texas on August 17th. Those in-person readings are available on my website as well, as well as the ticket info. And, um, you know, these workshops are really all about raising your consciousness and raising your awareness of self and who you are and actually listening to who you are so you can step out of the fear box and you can step out of that. So I, it, there was somebody had asked me, I've got had a couple of questions like, what is your workshop all about? Well, it's really like making yourself aware and being ultra aware and conscious of everything and believing in yourself and learning how to believe in yourself to walk forward. Um, okay, and also uh, Atlanta, Georgia, the 24th of August. So I love you all. Have a really great August and I'll see you guys for September. Bye.